too deep. Deep. I like it. Boost creep though. Boost creep? Yeah, bad. Boost creep. He said. Big time. Man. Just the sound of it, man. It sounds creepy. Well, <laughs> today's vlog. I'm gonna see uh, if any air leaks coming out of the flanges from where this thing is mounted. Because I know I remember when I was uh, welding the uh, the flange for it, I kind of warped it. What I did was just uh, I just shaved it with a, a file, just so I can make it flat as much as possible. So I want to see if there's any sign of air leaks on there and also uh, I have done something on my uh, boost solenoid earlier when I was working on my um, what do you call this thing um, uh, the throttle body yeah whenever I turn on the power like put on uh, ignition on on uh, accessory 2 I will hear a tapping sound all right here you go Hear that something buzzing. I think it's my boost solenoid. Hmm, I don't like that. I was reading on the internet and all that what could cause the solenoid to be making all that noise. Just it I read up uh, that's like five possibilities, and one of them is a uh, power source. Uh, it's a it's saying something that uh, it doesn't have. Maybe it doesn't have enough power source going through there, which is exactly um, I thought about, you know, because um, one wire, one lead wire, I had it hooked up on Alpha 11 and the other one on A25, which is there's two power rubbing off from A25, the boost solenoid and also my air fuel ratio gauge. I got them all connected all together. And I follow some, uh, you know, some instructions on the internet. And he said hook it up on A25, and that's what I did. It, it's not a good idea now that I thought about it. It's not a good idea to, uh, you know, like more uh, power rubbing off from from that source. So what I did is uh, I cut it and I installed one wire, the lead wire, the fuse box. Now it's a full time 12 volts power supply. So hopefully that will help uh, get rid of that tapping sound. So that's one of the, uh, I think it's one also of the issue why I have a boost creep. You know, this thing could have been, you know, tapping on, on and up, on and up while I'm, uh, you know, making boost. So that's probably why he, uh, the tuner said, or Daniel told me that, uh, you know, power boost, uh, boost creeping really bad. So I am simply going to remove this and check if there are any sign of air leaks on the flanges from where this thing mounts. I think I have enough uh, hours on this that uh, if there's any possible air leak, it will show. There's There will be a black suit over it. From my understanding is, boost creeping is that the wastegate is could not hold the exhaust air into the system. It's like it's bleeding it off. So the only thing I can think of is the boost solenoid and this one here. And I will find that out soon. As far as my uh, charge piping, if there's any air leaks in there, 
the turbo will just gonna have to work harder to keep up you know for the pressure demand Maybe I just leave my screamer pipe there, yeah. There's no reason for me to, uh, to remove it anyway. Just leave it there. To start, that bad boy is loose. As you can see, I can turn it. Okay. Let me get a light. Yeah. yeah, I can turn the bolt. The, the bolt. Okay. All right, I'm gonna all uh, remove it anyway. Uh, I was gonna. It's gonna take me a while, so I'll be back once I uh, I remove this thing. Okay, got the bolt out. Hmm. There you go. Massive. Okay. So that could be my uh, issue right there. Boost creeping. gonna be hard to uh, to make it flat as far as filing and all that okay so I think this is the one that uh, causing me some issue right here yeah, as you can see it's the start at least I have found something that I know it's a possibility you can see the flanges there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to I'm gonna try to heat it with a file, like start filing it sideways, or oh, not sideways, but flat, and see if, it, if I am going to make some uh, marks on this side. Then afterwards, I'm gonna use a dicom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. But definitely, this is it. And also, my my clamp being loose, that might have something to do with it also. But it's better to be to be sure. Because this flange could be not flat too. Let me check that real quick. I rigged up some uh, a block of aluminum with sandpaper in it, and I'm just simply gonna hit this going back and forth. Well, it's flat. Mm. 
try that again. I'm gonna do it till the the coating get removed or something. Then that will give us the an indication that it actually is flat. If it's flat then it could be just the clamp being loose. Yeah this is the low spot right here. It should be leaking here. I don't know why it leaks here. <sighs> oh well. So I know this is flat and the valve is also oh the seat where is the seat <clears throat> this is flat now I gotta find out if the seat the seat should be good Yeah, the seats is flat, so everything else is good. Yeah, definitely. This is the actually this is the high uh, low side right here, and as you can see, it's got a marks. But it made me believe that my bus creep is coming from over there from that flange so I think uh, I am confident enough to uh, <laughs> to cross this out yeah but I still would like to to do a pressure test on the lines I will do that my assumption would be is the combination of the bus solenoid you know making all that tapping noise on and up intermittently and also that one the leak right there and I think that will conclude like I said that thing is done so all of these bad boys are done I'm done with this I am done with this list but there is no way no way of checking it not unless I put Miley back to the dyno. I would not even bother. If I can fix that leak, I should be golden. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Right? So I'm not even going to show you guys how I put those things back. And But I, I will open this up just to make sure to verify that I didn't pinch the... Uh, I, that, that would be totally separate issue if I do that. If anything is pinched in there. But... Just to be sure, I will open that one. And uh, hopefully uh, this will help some of you guys that are uh, also battling for a boost creep. You know, if you are for a new beginners and that's the one thing to check. Alright, so I'll see you guys back. And have a good day everyone. Bye bye. Take care. Boost creep. One last thing I will do is I want to make sure that the seats inside is flat because that's where the, uh, the leak is coming from. I'm just going to let it dry for a while. Going to insert this and rotate it, you know, like rub it, and from where the uh, the leak was, if that's the low spot, it's gonna show. Just like when I use the uh, the block of aluminum with sandpaper in it, and it proves to be the the surface is flat, and that will be next.
Okay. It didn't show much, but uh, oh, 